this appointment or, or selection of J.D. Vance as the vice presidential candidate in the Trump ticket and his wife, Usha Chilukuri, the fact that she's a practicing Hindu, it has drawn a lot of vitriol in the American press, American society also, I should say, on both left as well as on the right. Very unfortunate, but that's what it is. But I read a very interesting story. Perhaps you can expand on this. That Usha's parents migrated from, I think, Vizag uh, or somewhere in Andhra Pradesh. Sir, you can set the story right. And there is one grandmother, sister of grandmother, something like that. 96 years old, still commutes 100 kilometers a day to teach. That story I found absolutely fantastic. Sir, over to you. The Chilukuri uh, clan uh, hails from Krishna district and uh, they migrated to different parts of uh, undivided Andhra Pradesh. Some family members in Hyderabad, some in Vizag, and some in different parts of uh, other parts of the state. But uh, uh, it's a family of uh, erudite scholarly people and many members of the family are have uh, carved a niche for themselves in academics, Vedic studies, and uh, administration also teaching, particularly teaching. So she is, uh, her grandfather is uh, Chilkuri Ramashastri. Ramashastri ji's uh, brother is Chilkuri Subramanya Shastri. I have had the great fortune of working and interacting with uh, Chilkuri Subramanya Shastri Garu. He was a state level functionary of the RSS, the undivided Andhra Pradesh. And, uh, um, he has, uh, you know, foregone all kinds of pleasures, promotions, positions for the sake of the uh, Hindu society. He did not even accept, you know, um, more PhDs. He did not accept, uh, um, you know, higher positions in the academics. And uh, he had uh, worked extremely hard till the last breath for the organization, Chilukuri Subramanya Shastri I have had the great fortune of uh, working with him and uh, Subramanya Shastri Garu is a great scholar of uh, Telugu, but he rarely wrote. He's a great translator, but rarely translated because he thought that all these activities would hinder his dedication to RSS. So that is the kind of man Subramanya Shastri is. He is the, um, I think, brother of the uh, grandfather of uh, uh, Usha Chilukuri. Uh, more remarkable is Chilukuri Subramanya Shastri Garu's wife. Her name is Shantama Garu. She is a professor of physics. While Subramanya Shastri Garu taught Telugu in Andhra University, she taught uh, physics and she is a remarkable uh, professor of physics, a scientist. And uh, one great thing is even after retiring, she did not stop teaching people. So she is 96. She is all of 96 now, but still she goes to a college which is about 100 kilometers away. Every morning she leaves home at 7 o'clock, reaches the college by about say 9.30 or 10 o'clock, takes one or two classes and then is available to the students to solve their uh, problems, to address their uh, uh, issues and then, you know, teaches the weaker students and by evening she comes back and she's doing she's undergoing this rigor at the age of 96 she's uh, fairly active for 96 and uh, she she has not taken a leave that's what i know she has never taken a leave and she continues to teach i think she's a great example of dedication to uh, the uh, realm that she has chosen she has um, taken physics as a subject and she goes to a uh, college or a, a university, a private university that uh, one of a former student uh, runs. So this former student specifically requested her to come and teach his students. So she goes every week and uh, uh, her you know, uh, dedication to teaching has been covered in Telugu media extensively over the years i think at least two or three years ago inadu covered it and a lot of newspapers covered it and uh, i have had the great fortune of uh, meeting shantamagaru twice or thrice uh, twice in vijay uh, shakapatnam and once in uh, 
the Kawadiguda region of uh, Sikandrabad. And uh, uh, I am mentioning the sub region because you would be able to relate to Kawadiguda. Sir, that's and, very uh, close to where I used to live, Skandagiri. Exactly. <laughs> Skandagiri, yes, sir. <laughs> Kawadiguda and Skandagiri are almost adjoining places. Sir. Right. So, uh, Subramanya Shastri Garu and Shantamma Garu were a great couple. They, after re uh, retirement, both of them have donated their property to. Um, May, you know, medical mission, Vivekananda medical mission that works among the disadvantaged tribal people in the North Andhra. They have an ambulance and they have also constructed a Datatreya Mandir in a place called Gudilova, which is about 40 or 45 kilometers away from Vizag city. Uh, there is a residential school there and uh, in the same premises, the Datatreya Mandir they have constructed and uh, they have led a very pious, dedicated life and uh, uh, Subhamagaru to this day teaches, to this day she teaches, that's the most remarkable thing about it and I think Usha Vans or uh, uh, you know if she goes on to become uh, the vice uh, president, you know the lady vice president of your, you know, the US, I think uh, it's not an honor to Shantamagaru, but actually being Shantamagaru's uh, granddaughter is an honor for uh, Shavans. That's, that's how I look at it. Yes, indeed, sir. And uh, J.D. Vance uh, certainly is a very promising politician. If you listen to him talk, he's a very good uh, speaker, very good speaker. Uh, I've seen yeah. some of his speeches. Um, so that his is a recent, strong... His recent speech is... Uh, uh, is a very hard hitting one where he said the first Islam nuclear armed Islamic country is not going to be Iran or Pakistan, it's going to be Britain, he said. Yes, After the yes. labor. It's a very hard yes, hitting indeed. statement and a very plain speaking kind of a statement. So um, we'll see how this plays out. Uh, in fact, Biden is down with COVID. So he's out of campaigning for a few days. So people are grumbling a lot that this is critical time and this guy goes and gets COVID. What can you do? I mean, God says that you shall get COVID, he gets COVID. So we'll wait and see how that plays out. So thank you so much for recollecting memories of Usha Chilakuri's uh, grand aunt. And we wish uh, everyone the best. You know, I think it doesn't matter who wins. The first lady or the second lady, I should say, of United States is going to be Indian origin. <laughs> Indian origin. <laughs> and what one what uh, what is uh, surprising to me is that there is no opposition to Kamala Harris. Yeah. But there is opposition to you know the Indian origin wife of uh, Vance. Yes, yes, yes. Well, um, these are all sleight of hand. You you know this is all lies. You know that these people don't even hide it anymore. That is the real sad part. So anyway, that investigation is coming along. It is. It, it, it is looking like it was a deliberate attempt. So we'll have to wait and see. I don't want to pass judgment at this point of time.